Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaiser Redux, in which we're playing as the PSA, a nation I've not yet played as before in Kaiser Redux and Hoi Forge just in general. But, as you can tell, we already pretty much are underway for the American little kerfuffle, in which we must now do a, another focus for us. Now, I don't know at the time of this recording which way we're going to go. I know people want me to probably go down Disney, or maybe it was the Norton route, Morton, Norton, kind of the monarchist route, but we'll see. Let's create the Pacific Defense Command, because that'd be probably pretty good to do. Since we claim to be the real America, the oh-so-real America, and our army is officially the United States Army, the command hierarchy remains unclear on, how many, on many levels. As such, we will push for the creation of the Western Defense Command, an apparent detachment of the army which will work independently, and will reunite with the army and structure once the Civil War is, of course, won. We're also using the mods, the State Central Tool Mod, as well as player-led peace conferences, and Russia finally announces her ambitions of the Pacific Declaration. Ever since the first peaceful transfer of power between George Daddy Washington and Daddy John Adams, the government of the U.S. has prided itself on respecting the wishes of its population after an election. This unspoken contract between the people and the government has been violated by General Douglas MacArthur. In deposing the democratically elected president in the name of preserving stability, because he got rid of Alf Landon of all things, he shattered the founding principles of our great nation. The destruction of the healthy civil-military relationship that has marked America since independence is a grievous slight to all the values that we uphold as a nation. In response, the governors of California, Washington, and Oregon have issued a joint declaration condemning the general's actions and demanding his immediate withdrawal from Washington. We doubt he will respond pro positively, but like the Patriots in 1776, we must take a stand against tyranny and oppression for the Republic. As you can tell, we already are uh, kind of getting ready for the conflict, and we're also mobilizing eight militia divisions in Northern Cali. Anti-war sentiment foments within the officer corps. As the once righteous U.S. survey splinters and collapses as it verges ever closer to a total civil war, many within our isolated oasis of Republican ideals here on the Pacific coast have begun to voice their growing desire to avoid war with their fellow Americans, fearing the chaos, bloodshed, and savagery of a brother war here on our own continent. These peacemongers have grown increasingly vocal in their aversion to the seemingly inevitable war that's growing on the horizon. Normally, such a development would not even grab the state's attention, but recently these anti-war sentiments have begun to seep into our own officer court, infecting the minds of some of our military staff and leaders with cowardice and hesitation. We likely do not have to act on this for some aversion of war, especially civil war. It's normal for a nation that was once as close-knit as our dying union, however. Some of our more hawkish or paranoid cabinet members have called on our regime to crush these calls for peace before they grow out of hand. How should we proceed? It's only natural for our men to shy away from the, uh, the war on its eve. The secession cause will grow. Crack down on these ideas? This board is on treason. I don't know, what does this one do? To shy away from the war, the secessionist cause will grow. Secessionist? Can we have a Pacific State Civil War? I don't know, so let's crack down on these ideas. We're going to go to war no matter what. Oh, and maybe we should make some divisions as well. Uh, these guys are okay. What do we have here? Infantry. I'm actually considering probably going to be... Oh, there we go. Resistance? Yes. I Actually, these are special forces. I do want to use some mountaineers. I do want to use one at least, so let's go with that because we have the Rockies because... Uh, just, no, nah, I don't like fighting the Rockies. That's not too bad, and these guys are basically the same thing, so Infantry Division will do that one too. Let's train two at a time. That's fine with us. That's all we're going to train for now, though. Uh, socialist Militancy? Uh, Western Manifesto. If you wonder about Socialist Militancy and that, please go right ahead. But, there you go. Frank Miriam, in coordination with the governors of Oregon and Washington, issued a stunning public statement today. And he claimed that if the so-called protector of American values could not even respect the basic rights outlined in the Constitution, referring to Douglas MacArthur, it would be up to the people of the Pacific to defend America's inalienable rights. Claiming that MacArthur's overthrow of the government was an Ill is illegitimate, a new election would be held to seat a new president, albeit amongst a limited slate of candidates in the Pacific region still, according to Miriam. Whoever won this election would still have more legitimacy than MacArthur, and would be tasked with over seen the return of a nation to democracy by force if need be we must preserve the constitution while many in our republic are no fans of Huey Long he is basically the least radical of the governments that have formed and at least pays lip service to their story in the constitution should we try to reach out to achieve a truce in the face of our common enemy in the western command center of course it is likely to be met with strong opposition from those who feel strongly against the man and that he's just another radical who needs to be stopped and often could cause a handful to not serve in part of congress to get in an uproar do it he needs to surrender as well. Um, I don't want to attack in these guards immediately, actually. Since we have a little bit of PP. Pacific Congress, kind of cool. Minor socialist resistance. Um, we lose some more support. I don't want to do that one. He needs to surrender. They all need to die. Hope we do well here. We have national spirit, minor socialist stuff. That's it. Huh. Not, we're not fighting for America just yet. Chief of Staff. Uh, if you want to do that, please go ahead. Who do we want? Oh, I love Artie. I want so much Artie. Ooh, organization recovery. That's not, not too bad. Special Force. We're probably not, not going to do Vandegrift. Uh, Sturgis. Arnold. 
I think this is my first time playing as a PSA. I kind of want to go with a lot of arty. So let's go with Henry Arnold. We're going to be very arty focused. I guess we'll, guess we'll choose Superior Firepower because I've never done this before. Oh, Sin Plus Riots. Um, following Big Bell's Haywood declaration of MacArthur's illegitimacy, many hoped that the capitalists and the syndicalists could come together and preserve American democracy. Those naive aspirations were dashed when Governor Miriam ordered the National Guard to violently suppress a syndicalist up uprising or protest, which broke out in Sacramento. This escalated into widespread rioting across many western cities, with Seattle in particular descending into violence. Longshoremen and teamsters broke into city, Seattle City Hall and proclaimed the city loyal to Haywood's workers, Republican Chicago. Currently, the city's in an intense stand-up between National Guard units and the rebe rebels hold up in the city hall. Crush these traitors. Oh, boy. Now we're trying to build some millies, as you can see. Because we don't have a lot of factories. We got we need guns. Hope the Japanese come here and help out. Let's get some Southern California men going ahead. And actually, for these divisions, they are... You know what? Mm, uh, I'll put them over here first. What do we have here? Do we have an infantry division that we could use? Loyalist Garrison? I'd rather use this than what we already have. Uh, PSA Garrison's exactly the same. I'll be honest, I'd rather have you guys all like this. Uh, maybe not the Loyalists. We're getting some manpower too, which is nice and all. Um, let's do... Because these require Artie, and we just don't have Artie. I... Nah, it doesn't matter. Just, there you go. There you go. Good luck. Chief of the Army. Uh, Sandy Patch. I like that attack. We're to get less supply consumption and better organization. I do like that as well. I like the attack. Attack will become very necessary for us. You get even more attack here too. Um, supply consumption goes down, which will be super, super important. You know what? I'm going to go with this one because we're not always on attack. We Organization is for attack and defense. And supply consumption can be good for attack and defense as well. Somewhat. Baseball season canceled. A sad day has fallen for Americans as Comis Commissioner of Baseball, Kennesaw Mountain Landis, has announced an end to the All-League Baseball effective immediately. This move comes as no surprise that Governor Standoff had just made traveling between cities nearly impossible, and as such teams had just been playing with this, within the states just under control in front of the governors. As the standoff seems to have no peaceful solution, even this stopgap effort is halted, and the 1937 World Series has been effectively canceled as well. The one last thing that has brought all Americans together is no more. The national pastime can't exist without a nation. I guess that makes some sense. Alexander Patch is leading us. We'll see what type of good work he can do. And yeah, we don't need to worry about that one. There you go. I hope we do well here. That's all I can say. And after this one, we'll probably go Superior Firepower. So we might as well read about that one. And the war is about to start. So, And there's so many different leaders we can choose for the PSA. It's ridiculous. Air Force is nice. Um, the DeWitt's mobilization. That's not bad. Mass Assault. Marshall Arnold plan. Grand Battle plan. McNair report. Artillery attack and def defense. And appoint Kruger. I love those hats, man, that they wear. But we'll probably go with McNair's report. Brigadier General Leslie James McNair has given us a detailed strategy report. He argues that we use massive artillery and air support to help our infantry prevail over our more numerous enemies to do this. He suggests we awaken the industrial, industrial potential of the West Coast so that we may obliterate our enemies before they even know what hit them. Chief of the Air Force, Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes? Is that the guy from New Vegas? Huh. I love Cass. Actually, I, I said it also, we're actually going to be using... Carrier close air support. I never, almost never use it. I sometimes use it, especially in TNO, but you never use Navy in TNO. But I'm going to try to use some carrier cast as well. So, and do we already have an Arnold here? Um, interception's nice. Air superiority is actually really good to get to. Oscar Westover. Wait. Ground defense, ground support, support, uh, attack and defense plus 3% ag agility. They have the same things exactly. Uh, is that supposed to happen? They're exactly the same. And Henry. Um. Government. Morgan. Oh, Morgenthau. I remember him. He was in the. Wasn't he in FDR's cabinet in real time? In our in our timeline? I think this guy. Someone. I saw him earlier. I think it was when I was playing maybe Red Flood. Maybe? He had a certain plan, I think, for the Germans after World War II, our timeline. And, yeah. Hmm. Anyways, we already have. Yeah, Henry Harley Arnold. If I do this. That, that seems a bit too much. That's a bit extreme. I like the plus 10% air superiority. I want to maybe go with Howard Hughes. Election violence? Oh, well, whatever. Um, violence is okay sometimes. Wait. Where's the air? Oh, it's air first. Hughes? Yeah, let's go with Hughes. I'll go with Hughes. Attention between the Pacific states and Washington have remained high over the last few weeks, but today, in the lead-up to the new election, they erupted into open conflict. While some of the ships in Naval Bay San Diego were transferred to the East Coast after the first signs of unrest, many Madrid remained, along with sailors from across the country. Details are sketchy, but it appears that the base commander, in orders from Washington, ordered sailors to take weapons from the base armory and head into the city. Deploying themselves at polling places, they prevented poll workers from setting up. 
When morning came, large mobs surrounded these soldiers and began pelting them with rottles, uh, rocks, bottles, and other debris. One of the sailors hit by a bottle fired back and soon the city descended into chaos. California National Guardians were deployed and pitched street battles between sailors Lloyd and MacArthur and the guards been erupted, turning the tranquil city into a war zone. Down with the traitors? And up with the star? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, there goes Peru Bolivia doing stuff. The clan growth? We love the clan. Election form formally declared. On the count of the influx of politicians and refugees from the rest of the country and to legitimize its claim as the leader of the American democracy, the Pacific and Congress has formally passed legislation declaring a new election to consider the issue of who will control Congress over the areas we still control. With Congress currently deadlocked between the newly splintered parties, determining a dominant faction will be necessary to govern effectively, as Congress can agree on little other than continuing the fight. This will be interesting to watch. There we go. I'll, I'll probably actually convert these divisions once we get enough army XP. Um, we'll probably take off the artillery for at least one of these types of divisions, so. We got the clan. We don't need no clan here. Japan announces their ambitions. Hopefully, they want to help us out. We're going to get how much PP? 0.46. And who do we want for the Navy? Uh, I want carriers. I want max out carriers, so. As much as I love Leighton and Lockwood, more sword efficiency is king. Right now, at least. Oh, and here we go. The giant sleeper. Good. Goodbye. Um, I don't think we can really push in that well. We could try it, at least. As long as they don't have too many divisions on the line, Canada moves into New England. Um, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead to war with them. I don't think we can deal with this now. Let's wait till later. As long as we can take some tiles first, especially like this part of... Oh, Sweden, Finland, huh? As, as, like this part of Nevada, I think that would be really actually worth it. And even Las Vegas. So if we hold the territory long enough, we'll actually become part of our core. Let's get some more guns going. There we go. Uh, we need more artillery too. Everything else, we actually maxed on everything else, which is actually really nice. Uh, do that too, and then go there. And then next up, you're going to do... I, just, I want a lot of RD, so... Cool. McNair support. Actually, if you guys were smart, you would go that way, which is good. You guys go... Uh, do that there, maybe. Uh, for now, just go there. That's fine. Uh, you three, go and convert to infantry. I do want to get some mountaineers, like I did say, so we're going to wait on that, so... Kingdom of Canada sees the Alaska. It kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll deal with this later. So be it. Actually, just go here, guys. Just go, 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 so they can't retreat. Recall the Chinese Marines? With the outbreak of the Civil War, our garrison in legation cities has been left sitting on their hands in China. Though recalling the division would leave our Chinese concessions relatively unguarded, and our influence in the city is smaller, many are advising us that it must be done to win the war. Should we recall the division? Bring our boys home. Absolutely. Ah, it looks like they're very experienced, but I don't think they really are, so... Head on up here, too. If you do that, they you got two divisions, which is actually really strong. And Russia's having a good old time. Hey, we got him. Nice. There you go. That's what we like to see. Yes, Japan. Oh. He's looking kind of handsome. Not going to lie. Look at that jawline. Wow. Hey, we got Boise. That's good stuff. Go, 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 go. I usually don't like attacking like this, but we're in a pretty good position right now to do so. Uh, fairly good position. These guys aren't really winning, but whatever. There we go. As long as we got we destroyed some enemy division, that's all that matters to me. And Idaho, thank you. All right, so we could probably stop attacking, kind of. They're starting to really form kind of a line here-ish. It's not ideal, but whatever. If we can go around them, that'd be really good. I kind of doubt we'll be able to, though. Oh, Patch was wounded already. That's not good. Any upgrades yet? Uh, logistics. And then Throw Planner. Revolutionary, so be it, so be it. Those guys kind of suck. You hold. And you guys hold as well. Just go where you need to go. Like, that's the most important thing right now, so. Oh, uh, you guys go up there, maybe. You guys help out. If that's the case, just make this all, like, one big old front line for now. I will replace generals and stuff like that, but we'll see. Hey, there you go. Nice. Hold. They're, I think they're going to move as well, so you don't want to lose any of that. Um, they're going there, going there, going there. Come on, help on Las Vegas, maybe. See what happens. The campaigns. <clears throat> With the election two months out and the parties that have crystallized, both both Republicans and Democrats suffering major splinters in response to the perceived failure of the two main parties to maintain stability alongside disagreements on foreign policy within the American Civil War. One of the newest parties is the Democrat Republicans. There's a sort of unity ticket between liberal and reform minded Democrats and Republicans in both parties who, who are tired of the conservative establishments. Another party to re arise is the old Progressive Party, which has existed in various forms but is now absorbed largely progressive Republicans alongside various social Democrats. The most radical ticket on the left by far, however, is Upton Sinclair's Commonwealth Party. 
functionally a more formal recreation of the Epic ticket from 1932, in which promised was a partially planned economy with regards to land and businesses that are believed to be idle, gaining support from both the left Democrats and the right wing of the Socialist Party. This has left the Republican and Democratic rumps compared to their last past selves, and with the, with the conservative wings are both more clearly in charge, hoping to stabilize the political scene after their sentence. This is a bit much. All I want to know who the enemy is, and so we can shoot him. And I've got plenty of enemies abound. Good, good, good. Uh, since you guys are here, go there. But really, um, you're going to go right there, too. Take all the land you can right now. And don't get yourselves killed off. That's super important to rem remember, too. But let's actually grab some Mountaineers. I almost never use these guys, especially in the Civil War. But there's a first time for everything. And do we need fuel? No, we're actually good on fuel. Which means we actually might be able to buy something else, like steel. If we could buy some steel. Uh, Sweden? Uh, actually, Deutsch Ostasian. That'd be good. And actually, rubber? Let's get some rubber, too. That's fine with us. Still trying to buy more stuff. We don't have that many factories. That's okay. I don't forgot. We have planes. I didn't even do any of this stuff off screen. So there you go. Fighters. Boom. Boom. Um, there you go. Yeah, having uh, air superiority is probably really important. So that should help us out, right? All right, not bad. See if we can get up there. That'd be really, really good. And. Oh, we just overran them. We don't have to encircle them. We just overran them. That's pretty nice, I'd say. If you really want to do something cool, you go just go right there. You guys keep these guys in place. Saying the Marines here is probably pretty bad, but I don't really care. All that matters is that we get in here as fast as possible and encircle two enemy divisions. Crisis on the Danube. Very, very good. Come on, come on. And we've got them completely encircled. No mercy. For these tyrants. Zero mercy. The new liberalism promise. The Liberal Party, officially the Democratic Republican Party, has released their promise to deliver a new justice for the American people to ensure the instability that caused the Civil War never occurs again. They promise reforms to banking, health, to social security, and work programs, amongst other reforms. They are taking flack from both sides of the spectrum with the progressives and Commonwealth calling the reforms halfway measures that will spend taxpayer money with little return, while the parties to the right have mocked them for promising voters that they can have their cake and eat it too. Presumably a reference to the old Democratic Republican Liberal Party to maintain a balanced budget. With well, the whole time they're doing this. They don't stand a gosh darn chance. Follow it up with quasi arms factories? That's not bad. Or towed artillery yesterday. I'd rather get the equipment now. Uh, even though that factory is actually really good, but whatever. Artillery pieces, or pieces, will need to be stronger as well as lighter if we're to respond to the battlefield changes as the plan dictates. McNair's expertise in the 20s with the examining board seemed to have not gone to waste, and he's proposed an overhaul of the American artillery production, which he projects will lead to artillery pieces being easier to produce and repair, as well as more accurate on the battlefield. Pretty good. And, oh, Reno, yes, daddy, please. Oh, and also before we forget. Oh, we, oh we're not occupying any non core territories. Oh, that's good. And we got him, son. McNair report. Let's get them already pieces. Because, my God, we need them. Yeah, my God, we definitely need them. All right, everyone, hold. Go to where you need to go for realsies. And we're going to do another Jesus Christ general attack. We got a plan. We're already out of guns. Let's not lose too many more guns. Celebrity, celebrity endorsements. With the hot sex nature of the election and their disproportionate influence on the PSA, celebrities are taken to running for candidates with Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn, giving a radio ad together for the Progressive Party while Charlie Chaplin gave a wholehearted endorsement for the Commonwealth Party while Upton Sinclair stood behind him, glowing. Meanwhile, professional cowboy John Wayne, famous for his lead role in the singing Daisies, has given an interview endorsing the Democratic Party, although he said he wasn't particularly opposed to Hearst's, Hearst's ideas. Henry Fonda and... Me Marie Dressler endorsed the Democratic Republicans, and when the latter was asked why, he joked that opposites make the best couples. However, ultimately, a plethora of stars such as Ginger Roger, Dick Powell, and most famously of all, Clark Gable, have struck by the, stuck by the traditional party of Hollywood, the Republican Party, giving them a much needed boost altogether, although a handful such as Hedda Hopper have crossed over to an all more consistently conservative Democratic Party, giving both of the mainstream conservative parties a much needed boost. Could this set a poor precedent? Doesn't matter. They're never going to be in the, uh, they never really don't care about you too much. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do Western Command Center, actually. Can we do anything else here? Ah, oh, Spain's killing itself, but, you know, Spain is pain. And we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. And I do want to cut down on influences, so. Well, not drug influences, just like, uh, the clan influence and socialist influences. But give us some time. Legation cities grant us observer rights. If you want to know about that, please go right ahead. They shall have 
No spine in Shanghai? The Democratic Party bosses have the three proposals for the now many 37. Wearing a more moderate platform is California business manufacturer Henry H. or Henry J. Kaiser. While Oregon Senator and formerly military officer Charles H. Martin is running to his right. As the party bosses are unsure about the enthusiasm either men generate, there's a proposal to draft a popular businessman and culture figure Walt Disney. This is partly because his top men have teased the idea of him running. While the last three of these proposals are unorthodox, the Democratic Party suffered from several splits and may need a more unified figure to win. Who shall become the nominee for the Democratic Party? Honestly, okay, so I know it's expected I go Disney or probably the, like the monarchy guy. I don't want to do that because people have done it before. I would love to have Disney. I would love, love, love to have Disney, but I think we'll wait for that one. Um, McNarty? Who's this guy? McGorty. I want to see who this is. I, I don't know. Just We'll just do it anyways because we can. All right, are they pushing? Can we push and do well here too? Maybe. It says we will, so let's do that one and push on the nationalist front. No. American Union State, CSA, both these guys, let's do that one, there you go. And we should have air, well, maybe not air superiority, but okay. constitutional reform. Louis B. Myers, a co-founder of MGM Studios and a major ally of the PSA and being a leader member of the GOP despite not holding office and helping coordinate propaganda efforts to his company. Not bad. However, he and his allies in Congress have been recently flouted a reform to the Constitution that they would claim they would need us, uh, gain us needed support by allowing non-native citizens to run for president, if they're naturalized citizens. While Meyer is clearly eyeing a run for the presidency, which his birth is in the Russian Empire, gaining his and other immigrant support may be helpful even if some natives are angered by the reform. Pass it? I don't think so. Hold on, let's not go too extreme. And the Republican Convention. The Republican Party's uh, can candidates are following in for 37, with the initial frontrunners Robert Taft and Frank Mirren being challenged. Who shall be the nominee for the Republican Party? Bro, if we get Howard Hughes... Robert Taft sounds like a lot of fun. I'll go Howard Hughes. Frank Miriam, I've already technically done him before playing as a, the California in the USA States Redux mod, so I'll go Howard Hughes. Let's try that guy. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I want to take as much territory as possible so we can core these places as fast as possible. Oh! And now they're killing each other, too. Oh, that's not good for us. Actually, because this group actually has the you guys. First California motorized. Hearst runs. And shock and move. William Randolph Hearst is throwing his hat in the ring, giving a speech outside Hearst Castle that the PSA must come to a ceasefire with General MacArthur. He promised that when elected president, he would hold MacArthur to his promise to step down and in the meantime would put an end to crime, cynicalism, and unemployment in the Pacific states. Through state-sponsored programs under his National Democratic Party, which is officially yet another breakaway from the Democratic Party. Absurd. Cool. Alright, so you guys just go, 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 go. Tucson would be nice. Also, some might say, Tucson. Uh, how many men have we lost, actually? 11,000, that's not too bad, I guess Western Command Center. Uh, 37, Republic, Democratic Republican Convention. There's five candidates for the nominee in 37. San Francisco District Attorney Earl Warren, uh, Washington Governor Clarence D. Martin, California Senator William Gibbs McAdoo, Oregon Governor Charles A. Sprague and, Sprague, and California newspaper owner Manchester Bob Bodie, who's running on a more populous and personality-oriented ticket. Who shall be the nominee? I like that body. Actually, that'd be a really cool uh, running name. I like that body, and I hope you do, too. A bounty for all of us. I want to get over to Albuquerque quickly. Or, or we just... Uh, Canada supports the federal government. Oh, you gosh darn piece of garbage. Today, the Canadian government and through them, the exiled British leaders and entirety of the Entente declared the support for the U.S. as the true and only legitimate claimant to the mantle of American leadership. While stopping short of promising direct military intervention, they have offered to bolster federal forces with equipment and volunteers, as well as an array of military advisors. Their statements stated solely that America was required to maintain world order and prevent the dissolution of the one of the world's greatest powers in a chaos. How dare they interfere in American uh, affairs? Actually, no, let's go south. We're going south right now to cut these division, two divisions off. And basically, the Progressive Party has their own set of candidates, too. In a nearly contested convention, the exiled uh, Iowa activist and prominent farmer labor ally, Henry Wallace, Oh, Wallace. Former Governor General, Governor General, California Governor, Ally Theodore Roosevelt, Hiram Johnson. Ooh. Hiram Johnson. Former Governor C.C. Young. I'm going to go completely random here. Let's go C.C. Young. He says he's young and we like we like him young. Can I say it? Hmm. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Cut these guys off. That'd be go right. Western Command Center ain't got crap on us. But quasi arms factories. A crucial part of McNair's plan is the development of specialized anti air and anti tank artillery. This will allow us to better contend with the modern machines of warfare. In order to achieve this goal, we will develop quasi arms factories that will specialize in the production of such weapons. I'm not sure what we get, but we want them. Good, good, good. Get down, get down. Get down on it. It was great tuning. Uh, but, uh, 
the Commonwealth nomination. A Commonwealth Party, sometimes informally nicknamed the Left Democrats due to activism on the left labor wing of the Democratic Party, has convened today for its first nomination. Inspired by Sinclair's former epic and poverty in California campaign, it's no wonder the radical activist is a leading candidate, but as a surprisingly strong contender, California State Senator Colbert Olson, who will win. Olson! <laughs> Just because I played as uh, that dude before, and I'm like, eh, that's not bad, but still. Go straight on in if you can. Improved machine tools, great. So we're getting that stuff. Let's get some better artillery here. Already for the win. We have almost all of Arizona. I need to go to Arizona someday. Arizona, actually, the more I learn about Arizona, the more interested I am in it. So I think that'd be really cool to go to Arizona someday. Uh, that's too big of a fleet. There you go. That's better. You guys, ah, uh, I'll keep you like where, where you're at for now. Even with full training for our army, we're still max out on fuel, which is very weird to say in uh, for the American Civil War. Pacific Coast League. Prior to the outbreak of the Civil War, the Pacific Coast League was the second most prestigious league in American baseball after the majors themselves. Now that the war has all but decimated East Coast baseball, the PCL is now the highest level league in the land, and talent has been flocking westward as a result due to our relative, relative stability. Yankees phenomenon and San Francisco native Joe DiMaggio has come home to play for his hometown Seals. Now facing a very strong San Diego Padres team headlined by young Ted Williams and Joe's brother Vince for the championship. President Pacific Congress is due to throw out the ceremony first pitch of what looks to be a very well attended series and a huge morale boost to the nation. Take me out to the ball game and President Pacific Congress. That seems kind of weird, but whatever. Alright, so now we finally got some resistance to deal with. Uh, local autonomy. We're, we are technically democratic, so. Um, mounted PSA militias? Or cavalry divisions? Ah, it doesn't matter. Both are good to do for now. Support from resistance. Rebels fighting for the Pacific cause elsewhere in the U.S. have made contact with the government, offering an array of scavenged supplies. So, we have 24, and now we'll get some more rifles, which is great. And we got, actually, 75 political power. I will gladly take that. I will gladly, gladly, gladly take that. First horror stories. Oh, no. Uh, Hearst, a man notable for being disliked by the common people on a personal level, has been using his papers to make sure people still feel he's the only viable option. The Hearst papers make sure to run articles on the death toll resulting from the war with MacArthur that Hearst promises to put an end to, with numerous experts are calling inflated. Furthermore, he's published increasing stories about local crime the camp, and the rampaging of both cynicals and gangsters. Canada and Japan's plotting against America, and most absurdly, the other parties plotting with the CSA. Darn is yellow journalism. Ah, yellow journalism. You gotta love it, yellow. Oh, they actually threw a division in there. Keep going, guys. Actually, the Western Command Center's almost fallen. Then we've got to deal with the uh, Long, which is kind of fine with me. I don't really care too much about Long. Gun convert them. We're going to need way more guns, though. Gun arenas. What do we have here? Anything here that we really care about? War propaganda. We could, don't really need that, actually. The war economy's already really good to be on. Except we're already really good on everything here. I think I'll go here in Standard Oil. We don't need that either. Okay, then. Uh, infantry equipment. Production cost goes down. We actually might do that one. Maybe plain stuff, too. Explain stuff is pretty good to do, but after this one, we're going to do combined arms units. General McNair urges us to implement a strategy of combined arms in our army. This would allow our infantry, armor, artillery, and planes to maximize the respective strengths in a unified force. With the support of various combat arms, our infantry will cut through the enemy like butter. Which eludes it artillery attack and defense, but toad artillery gets more soft attack breaks and production costs goes way down. Sign us up. we got to destroy the command center. We're already in New Mexico. And we're already in Utah, which I forget that state even exists sometimes. And we're already in Montana. God, i got to go back to Montana someday. That's a really beautiful state. Absolutely beautiful. Spiritualist Party endorses Hearst. The Spiritualist Party is a vaguely right-wing entity that has merged various fringe organizations associated with conspiracism and unorthodox religious beliefs, amongst other profitable new faiths, which sounds awesome. The party is led by Edwin Longstreet Bodine, and he is simply too fringe to win the election. He has settled for endorsing William Randolph Hearst, promising to protect Mr. Hearst from cynical spies and praising his anti-British stance. Who? Down with the British. Down with them. Hearst's campaign appreciates the gestures, although are not sure to thank them too publicly. What strange characters. Absolutely strange. Push against the feds. This ain't, ain't that right, fed boys. Good, good, good. Anyone else got some upgrades? No? Alright, well, that's fine, whatever. We're, we're, we made it down to Texas! Look at that! Oh, crap. What happened? Wait, did we already elect people? Oh, hungry. Oh, who cares about hungry? Last bastion of American democracy. The election's finally upon us, with each party hoping to take a place in the presidency. Thanks to the many parties running the first past the post system, the party with the most seats or most votes will undoubtedly hold a disproportionate number of seats in Congress. A progressive victory, a Republican Democratic victory, a Republican ticket, or, oh my god, I don't know. I don't care about which party wins. I'll be honest, I'm just here to win the game. So, you know what, let's make a save. As you can see, uh, the six forever, 
It takes forever to load for the save game. I don't understand why. I have a PSA save. This is my TNO saves. Um, this is going to be the PSA victory uh, uh, election save. Election save uh, 37. There you go. Cool. We might come back to this. We might not. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. I really have no idea. A progressive party? Who's that? I've, I've only been half paying attention. They're led by C.C. Young, a Democratic Republican. Led by Bodie, a Republican ticket, is Hughes, a Democratic Party, which we currently are, is McGrorty. Oh. Media Magnate. That's not too bad, actually. I like the political power. Commonwealth. I like that there's, there's actually quite... Oh, this, led by Olsen. Oh, the Radical Socialists. Um, I do like that these are all divided. We can see, like, they're all kind of different. I like that. Hearst actually pulled it off. That would be actually really cool. National Democratic. I might play them later on, but I think for now, I'm going to go with... Howard Hughes. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. Market liberals. Let's go with the Republicans for now. <laughs> oh, Howard Hughes, the captain of industry. And we want to build more infrastructure and civvies anyway, so. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How many other people play as Howard Hughes at PSA on YouTube and such? Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. Oh, baby boy. Uh, Trans Pecos, uh, to the Mormons. Whip up them, the Mormon boys, they gotta go to war. And we have George Marshall here, too. Hey, declare war in the Dominican Republic. They always hated each other, didn't they? So. Ah, uh, we got him, my friends. We got him. We got dispersed industry as well. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and keep pushing for now. Keep pushing for now. See what we can do. Destroy our enemies as much as possible. Get some more construction speed going. And we're gonna get this Mountaineer stuff done. My goodness. What the heck? Wait, what? I don't ever like that. That doesn't make any sense. Why do we just peace out with them? Why? We won. We literally took them out. I demand my territory. That's so stupid. Why does that happen? Honestly, that should never happen. I understand they're a puppet and such, but... Honestly, like... At this point, if the, because American Union is still at war with them, I'm just going to take the territory then. Like, that's BS to me. We took all this stuff. This is literally our territory that we won and took fair and square. 100% fair and square. Do we not get this territory? That's a big slap in the face. I, I'm not going to stand for that. That's BS, but come on. Do something here. I deserve all of this part of New Mexico, all of Arizona, all of Utah, all of Idaho, all the rest of Nevada, and this part of Montana. Attack. Well, I'm going to do that one first. It's fine with me. Now, uh, Bolsey, you know, maybe we'll wait. Let's wait and see what happens. Maybe something good will happen. Combine arms. All right. We did get Howard Hughes. Um, into artillery. Progressives. Oh, Republicans elected, I guess. Incentivized charity. That was not too bad. Local manpower goes up. Settlement movement. All right. All right. Oh, actually. You get a lot more civvies that way. That's not too bad. Efficiency movement. Local budgeting. Social gospel. It's not bad. Fiscal reform. Labor management. Cool. I do. I want to keep going down with our... Oh, what's this? Mexican repatriation. Quote adjustments. Immigration reform. Or act reform. U.S. Air Force. I want to keep going down here. Field schools. Um, tank destroyers. Bombing support. Uh, since we're technically not at, well, technically we're still at war. You know what, screw it. I'm going to go do one of these first, just because I want to get those extra civvies. The settlement movement was popular in the pre-Valkyrie England and, and America. Focus on bringing the rich and poor together in settlement houses to better understand each other. We should encourage a revival of this movement in difficult social times. We can do that, but keep going for this one. Please. Uh, if we're going to lose it anyways, I'm just going to get delete them. So Sorry, Mormons. You did a great job, but it is what it is. I wonder if once we leave, um, will we be able to take our territory? Because, I mean, this is our territory. This is literally our territory. I will not give this up to long. We went all the way down to Texas. There's a, why are you taking so long, man? This is why I use the state transfer tool mod. What the hell are you doing? Just go all over here. Just go. Just come on. At this okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna deal with this. That's stupid. Goodbye. Do we not get anything out of here? Guess not. Alright, well, I'm not gonna get screwed over by like, like that. Alright, all. 
Ooh, stay change to mod. Well, I guess we're gonna get screwed over by that. <sighs> it showed up pretty earlier, but that's BS. That is absolutely BS. You know what? I'm gonna let them keep fighting for now. And then we're gonna open up console command, and I'm just gonna annex them. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. That's 100% ridiculous, and it, that should honestly not happen. We won against them. And here we go. We're gonna do it. I don't care. I don't care what happens. Annex. Well, I don't want to annex them because that'll give us too much territory then. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe not. I, I apologize for this. But I'm not going to stand for this. I, I, this is ridiculous. We shouldn't have to go to war twice for these guys. We absolutely should not have to go to war twice. I hope the devs look at this because I'm, I'm, I'm sure I know this has happened before. This is not just the recent, but this has happened before as well. When I was looking at the AI do this, but it just that pisses me off. That really does. And I'm sure it's a, kind of like a more. Of, it's not a, the devs' fault. I think it's more like the hoy, just hoy for in general. It's just the way peace deals are kind of r ran in in the mods or just in the game, just in the game. So it's not the devs' fault, as far as I know. I don't know. I don't know very much apparently. Settlement movement is nice. Securities Act? Why not? Many are fearful of the large-scale confiscations of wealth carried out by the CSA and AUS during the Civil War. We need to enact legislation to assure the people that their property is theirs and theirs alone. But at least being at peace means we don't have to do too much. And we did work on getting some more guns, too. Support from resistance? Nice. Hey, we got 50 more. I'll take it. I'll gladly take that. And over here, stand... No. Oh, guns. Yeah, I'm also do the gun stuff. I'm also make more guns more quickly. Yeah, that's, just, that's a big old slap in the face. We did well, and we get punished for it. That's just not cool. We we would not sign a white piece. Let's be realistic here. We would definitely, absolutely, 100% not sign a white piece if we're winning like that. And we capitulated them once. My goal was to smash the longest, and we were cucked out of it. There will be no ceasefire at the Rockies then. We killed you once. I will kill you again. Now what are the losses like? 500? Not enough. It just... No. They've already capitulated once. Arr. And the next... Cool. Uh, what's the next one we're going to do? Let's go back to the left here. Uh, tank destroyers are nice. Not really going to use them too much. Field artillery schools. While our other generals have encouraged the continuation of officer schools to train the next generation of officers, Leslie McNair wants to focus, have our focus elsewhere. He believes that investment in rigorous field artillery schools will give artillery and our army the necessary training to prevail in the Civil War and beyond. Get way more max entrenchment and break through a little bit more. Artillery uh, training experience gain plus 5%, which is nice. More soft attack for total artillery, more breakthrough. Oh, I love it. And three 100% bonuses for superior firepower doctrine. I know some people also want me to play as Russia too, which I'll I will play as Russia sometime. I don't think I've ever played as Russia in Kaiser Redux, so we'll see. Go right ahead. I forgot to give him orders. My bad. That's my fault. Find Long and kill him. Kill him. Kill him now. Uh, the doctors could probably wait. We're not really engaged in too many naval battles. Actually, we're not engaged in any naval battles. Are we still training? Oh, we're not. Oh, that sucks. Uh, there you go. Train. Seriously, just train. And, thank you. Weapons developments? That looks pretty awesome. For far too long, we've used outdated equipment in our army. We can now afford to invest in the weaponry and equipment, particularly in the field of artillery, in order to rain fire upon the extremists in the east. Every bullet or shell counts, and ours will soon count for even more. Not too bad. I want Texas back. For the love of God, I deserve El Paso. We got all the way down there, man. I thought we were doing quite well earlier. And we were. But we were cucked out. And that is just not cool. Pushing the long front. Come on, boys. Get down to El Paso. We've lost 700. And we've killed off an additional... Well... I guess 1,800 almost. Not bad. I really want to win here, but I don't know if we will be able to. Long is fighting... No, they're not fighting the CSA. And Murr is fighting all the way up to Chicago. That's not too bad for him. Oh, we've hit Texas. We've hit Texas. But uh, make sure we don't lose those divisions in Texas, please. That'd be very bad. Find him and kill him, son. How many times do we have to do this? If, if they cut us out again one more time, I swear to God, I'm just going to straight up annex him. I don't care. Oh, there you go. Trans Pecos, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, well, technically they already did capitulate earlier. Assyria declares independence. Alright. Communalism in the Latter-day Saints Church. 
The Church of Jesus Christ and Latter-day Saints, better known as the good old Mormons, have expressed sentiments in recent months to strengthen the ideals of communalism within the Church in order to counter the sway of syndicalism. Notably, the Church has come out with a faith-based welfare program called, coincidentally enough, with the Church Welfare Program to provide for support of our fellow Mormons. Furthermore, the program calls for more bishop storehouses to be created due to the Church's influence in the Western states. This is also translated into increased support for their policies. No comment? Support communalism? Ah, we'll do it anyways, why not? It could be worse than having Mormons here. Could be a lot worse. Beautiful. Portuguese Empire. Well, we're doing the Anton, all right. How, how strong long is probably pretty strong. Keep going for now. We want to kill them all off. Actually, you guys go right there. And we might need to take a break soon from uh, attacking. Madras. Oh, they got some open holes here, though. That's good to see. Grand Junction will be nice to get. Oh. Ah, hold, hold, there. That's over river. That's not very good. We will stop attacking soon. We have the entirety, almost entirety of Utah under us. We have half of New Mexico under us. We've got half of Montana under us, despite them pieces of garbage doing what they did to us earlier. Let's grab more guns. All right, so how much equipment do we have? We have 204. For these, for these guys, I might throw in engineers. We'll see. That costs way more support equipment than we don't actually have. There you go, do that. We actually have, do we have enough infantry equipment? No, we don't. Let's go there. We're actually making quite a few more planes, too, so that's actually really nice. So for now, maybe just hold on. Just hold on. Hold. Don't don't worry about attacking. Let's just get ourselves pretty, pretty. Oh, yeah, let's get pretty, guys. Um, and just get ready. Western Montana, construction, too. Very good. It is 38, so happy 1938, everyone. Hope you're having a good old year. Good old, good old year. And can we hit the clan anymore? No, we're looking actually pretty okay. Support from the resistance. 50 more PP, we'll take it. We'll gladly take it. Now let's make sure our divisions are nice and strong and get more equipment right now. We definitely have to get more equipment in the field because right now it's not looking too good. It just ain't looking good at all. And convert you to there. There you go. Cool. Uh, you guys could actually probably do okay here then. Help support the attack as well. That's fine. Get, some, get a lot more planning done. Weapons development is good to get. Prepare the arty? Yes, please. The indisputable winner of the Valkyrie was artillery. With it, our army may advance over a suppressed enemy, as well as stop any enemy offensive dead in its tracks. As such, our immediate priority will be to repurpose the Navy's spare cannons to the artillery branch, as well as fund the development of the new artillery models and improved artillery parts to facilitate mass production of this deadly, deadly weapon. Ugh, oh, yes. Militia of the Rio Grande? Yes, please. We ain't looking too bad. Uh, you guys go oh, all right here. You guys go in here, too. We got Albuquerque, which is nice. I wonder when we can core this up too. I love Arizona. Uh, you guys should be able to come in here too, right? And everyone else helps support the attack as well. Red Flood, if you like to read about that, please go right ahead. And EWL and Last Support, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead as well. Because uh, organized clan resistance is going down, down, down. Oh, come on, Murrah, get rid of the CSA, which they're still not fighting long. Interesting. Another division. Can we get any more? Yes, Eastern Wyoming. We love Eastern Wyoming. I've never. Ah, that's why I've been in Wyoming before. It wasn't for very long. Oh, actually, I forgot. Um, where are you guys at? Because this is all the Rockies here. So I might take like you two, convert you to this. PSA resistance. Actually, you know what? Here. Um, just get rid of all the stuff. I don't want to see all this stuff. I, I really don't. With you guys, I don't know if the, the template will die, but let's go. There you go. And since we got this, there's some arty in there. Make up 20 combo with for now. That'd be okay with us. We can afford this. Get some arty, get some engineers. You got recon already, so that's nice. Go up mountains. And you... Uh, let's do this. Boom. Boom. You guys hanging out? Become mountaineers. We don't have the equipment for it, but I don't really care. That'll be good. We're going to convert more divisions to mountaineers, too. It looks like overall we can do pretty darn well. From Santa Fe, let's move on out. From here, we actually might be able to attack here as well. Let's see. Or I think we're attacking over a river too, which kind of suck arenas, but it's all right. Things happen. Um, there's divisions there. If we can attack in the mountains there, it wouldn't be too bad. I'm going to convert you to mountaineers as well. Oh, we can't. God dang it, that sucks. Uh, let's see, two divisions right there. There you go. 
And you guys go in there as well. And you guys actually aren't over there, so... There you go. You should be able to win here. Realistically, they should be able to. Plane wise we're actually looking quite good. So. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh we were pushing against Longest, too, which does help out, so, but whatever. Oh, they're trying to attack us here, huh? I see how it is. Well, we have ways of making you talk. Good. Threw another division in there as well, and... Uh, let's wait. Prepare the arty. Crossing the Rocky Mountains? Yes, please. Uh, defense contractors? Let's do that one first. Wait. Even faster production costs for artillery and more military factory. Unlike some command style economies in Europe, we must rely on contractors to produce our own weapons. Ensuring these companies are prepared for this new civil war should be our top priority. And by the end of this episode, I want to make your guys, like, actually really, really good. So, we'll see. I want to prepare to kind of do a general attack, but these guys are really entrenched, which is not good. You guys go in here, then. Can you guys actually win there, maybe? You might not actually be able to. You know what? Let's not do that. That seems suicidal. Because these guys are... We need those soldiers over here, too. Guatemala. There you go. Oh, Japan, we love the... Uh, who are you? 900 Arasaka Type 99 rifles. Oh, yes, please. Send the Marines in. Let's go. Uh, losses, 15,000 versus, what, 41,000? Nice. For the USA, for Union States, 24,000. Howard Hughes in aviation. Howard Hughes has made his name through his business that dealt with aviation, and many of those planes were designed by himself or approved by him. As president, his love of aviation is so strong as ever and believes that what will be beneficial for America is to have a strong air force and an aviation industry. To that end, working with both military and civilian leadership, he has formed the Federal Aviation Administration. The FFA will have all authority over regulating civilian aviation, including air safety regulations, air navigation, and traffic control, as well as promote the aviation industry. Hughes believes that this will usher in a new age of aviation for America. To the skies! Beautiful. Who's leading Japan? Yasuhito? Who is Yasuhito? Huh. Alright. Cool. Come on. Oh, come on, Scar. You're so close. You took Gary, Indiana. Come on, man. You took Gary. And that is a town you don't want to live in right now. Anyways, um, I said that before, but at, at the point still stands. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Actually, probably in 1938 in this time, it'd still be pretty darn good to live in. Every time I play as America, I always got to bring up Gary. Because you got to love Indiana. Birthplace of uh, Michael Jackson. Send them boys in. Keep going, keep going. What's our logistical situation like? We're almost out of our deficit of motorized-ish. Four artillery pieces a day, 51 guns every single day. More sport equipment would be nice. We're doing quite well right there. We're going to slowly keep pushing in. You guys, uh, I'll let you attack here. You should do fine. Because you guys can't go over there, right? So that's fine with us. You guys actually have out here too. Thank you. And I want to attack into the mountains, but that's pretty pretty difficult. But we're going to do it anyways, because we can. I actually sent you guys over there too. There you go. Not bad. Yeah, this river's not going to be good to fight over. That's why we're going to attack from this side too. Cool, cool, cool. I'm kind of just waiting at this point for us to get the push against the Longest again, because that would be really good to use. But let's go ahead and do crossing the Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains is a formidable geographic formation that separates the beloved West Coast from the carnage in the East. However, with our fate being to reclaim the rest of America, we will have to cross the Rocky Mountains eventually and face our enemies. As such, we should begin preparations for a smooth camp camping through them. Absolutely. Even though we're kind of partially all the way through them. But we still got Colorado to deal with and Wyoming still. So, we'll see. Come on, I don't want to lose too many guys here, but we're doing quite well, I would say. The gun deficit's going way down, as well as artillery. Which is awesome. Alright, so what do we got here? Springs, huh? Not a very good position to be in. Uh, here, we're going to risk it. Actually, you guys stay there. Send two of you guys there and send another guy right there. There you go. Try it. You guys could help out right there. They they do have two divisions there, which is not very good. But you still might be able to break through. Support from the resistance. Great, great, great. We got a total of 50 more PP, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Eastern Colorado, thank you very much. And let's go ahead and invest more into our planes. Agility. Uh, heavy bombers. Let's go with this one. Lockheed. I think that'd be worth it. We still have air superiority, which is great, great, great. Oh. I think they moved a division out of here. That's actually really nice to see them do that. 
There you go. There it goes well. Oh, we're really kind of sticking out here. That's not too bad. There you go. Help him out. Help him out. We got Pueblo. Head on down. Delay doctrine is great. All right. And boom, right there. We do want to attack here, but we don't know extra spare divisions right now. Oh, oh, they're trying to get out of there. Look at that. Hold. I want you to go right here, actually, instead. Go right there if you can. You guys move in as well. You guys, if they want to do that, then you keep attacking them. Keep them in their place. We all have a place to be. Um, yeah, nowhere really good to attack. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the southern portion is really not going to be moving very much. We're going to win right here and get to Denver next. Actually, beginning to saw in Denver already. Oh, you can't help us really attack it. That's fine. There you go. A little, little bit of lag. Thank you very much. Head into here. And now I want you guys to go right there. And then you guys go right there. Oh, I can't do that, huh? Alright, it's fine. Cross the mountains. Army Rangers. How's this one? Defense Logistics Agency. America's an enormous country full of varied terrain. We need to create a centralized logistics board able to coordinate warfare across the varied biomes of America. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Go in, go in. Metaxas, cool. I don't think Long is really going to be able to beat us up that well here. Alright, you want to do some crap like this? You guys head on over here. Go up to there if you can. Alright, not too bad. Colorado, thank you very much. At this point, we're about to launch a general attack across the entire front here. So, give us about a second or two, and then we'll do such a thing. Actually, what are, we actually are positive on, on infantry equipment as well as Artie. Not for a lo not for very long, though. In about five seconds, we're probably going to launch an attack as well. Uh, five, four, just go ahead. Go, go, go. I wanted to wait for the other thing to, do, to happen, but that's all right. Long has got to die. All right, not bad. Let's come over here and grab some more soft attack. We've lost 17,000 versus, I would really say, maybe 200,000. That's pretty good. Go, go, go. Oh, we can do it again. Go, go, go. So we got rid of the Western Command Center already. We're pushing through long pretty darn okay-like. Maybe not perfectly. And now we're out of... No? Actually, we've got even more guns than before. Wow. Wow. I'd like to convert these guys over, but that's alright for now. Mountaineers, um, they're looking pretty good, actually, already. I could throw on and make these guys 20 combo with... Actually, do we have enough guns for that? No, we don't, but good enough. Let's do it. Let's do it. Eastern New Mexico? I've never been in New Mexico. Kind of want to go someday. There's a lot of states I'd like to go to someday. Go! Kill off Long! He's still not fighting the CSA! Oh, the card's been pushed back, definitely. Protecting Columbia, huh? Walkie-talkies might as well. Portable radios, or walkie-talkies as they commonly are called, present a powerful tool for army. With them, our troops can coordinate artillery and airstrikes, among other things. But please, guys, in the comments below, let me know. Should we do Mexican repatriation? Should we do a quota adjustments, or should we do Immigration Act Reform? Please let me know in the comments below which way we should go. And, of course, we have the effects of Federal Ban on Race Mixing, which sounds cool, or Denounce Race Hatred, which sounds okay. Jazz Crackdown. <gasps> we have to crack down on jazz. And Turn a Blind Eye, or Conditional Blockade. Opposed Radicals. Negro Bureau. I was just going to Negro Bureau, huh? Kind of ends in an O. And the Fun Black Education, all right. And the New Lily White Movement, and lo fun local segregation, which sounds kind of cool, or hire black Americans, and calm racial conservatives, as well as encourage integration. Let me know which way we should go. I'll, I'll leave that completely up to you guys. It doesn't matter to me which way we go. So Long, we're already in Texas. We're deep into Texas almost. And we've already hit Kansas. We've hit Oklahoma. We've hit Nebraska. We're about to break into to the Dakotas. Oh my goodness, we're doing... This is going a lot better than I thought it would. Long, definitely, it's not easy playing as American Union State. They're probably one of the hardest factions to play as then. The PSA is, doesn't seem that difficult. The CSA is probably the easiest, followed up with maybe the PSA, actually. The feds have the feds have a difficult time there, too, but still. I don't know. Uh, it just depends maybe on what patch you play on. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Because their guys are still not doing too bad. I remember when I first played Kaiser Redux and playing as a car, uh, and we had a certain uh, clan that took power and had like a coup attempt a few different times. But if we can actually get the Western Command Center to die, as well as Long, Long's you know secessionist movement to die as well in this same episode, 
I think that's pretty good. Not gonna lie, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, let's go this one too. More defense and breakthrough. Oh, I love that breakthrough. Keep going. Don't stop. Long is on the is on the run. He's on the run. He's got a lot of manpower still. A lot of divisions too. We have more than enough guns, and we've got quite a good amount of artillery. We just need more support equipment and motorized, which is very weird to say, but okay. You can use some tanks as well. There you go. Walkie-talkies. Great. Uh, so we'll do that stuff later. Let's go back over here on this side and keep doing this stuff. Soften regulations. Lose PP. Consumer goods goes down. Incentivize charity. I like that one. Currently, there's a large swath of population that needs aid, but as usual, direct government intervention would be inefficient compared to private intervention. Instead, our public service campaign will urge the wealthy to donate, offering tax breaks for anyone who does, and honoring those who give the most by honoring their deeds. Sounds pretty good. Attack them stupid socialist groups. We'll soon be in Iowa. Education, philanthropy. Oh, yes, baby. We get another research slot? The richest businessmen usually attend a small set of elite universities like the Ivy League, Stanford, and the University of Chicago. We should create scholarships to ensure that those less fortunate can also attend these beacons of learning. Absolutely. All right. Very nice. Eh, we can't get there just yet. We're working on this, too. Uh, what do we want? We already had... I actually did better plans off-screen earlier. Base strike. That'd be nice. We are doing a lot of this, though. Uh, attack bombers. Oh, I'm going more cast. Let's get more cast this time. This is going a lot easier than I thought it would. I'll be honest. This is a lot easier than I thought it would be. So much easier. I thought we'd struggle a whole, whole lot more. I mean, we got cucked out earlier, but... Jesus. Um... How are divisions doing right now? I still like to make that Reno division, but... There you go. Just throw them where they need to be, because we're already deep into Oklahoma. We already took Oklahoma City. We've taken San Antonio. We, we're visiting the Alamo, Alamo Austin. It took the entire panhandle of Texas. Jesus. Just wow. I gotta play PSA more often, then. Um, send one guy down here, because they could really use help. They're fighting over, and even though the Marines are doing well. Actually, how good are the Marines we have? They're probably not that great. The allegation Marines are not very good, so... Come on. Oh, they finally started finding the, C the CSA. There you go. And we got Corpus Christi. All right. Oh, well, maybe we don't have the port yet. But we're getting close. We're getting very, very close. How close is Long to capitulate? They're about halfway. We've killed off 200,000 of them while taking 43,000 casualties in total. That is pretty darn nice. Thank you very much. I love Howard Hughes. Help him out right here right now. Oregon State Guard. Actually... You guys, convert yourselves to these. We won't have enough support equipment, but that's A-OK. -okay, incentivized charity, and which education philanthropy. Follow it up with what? Hollywood support? Looks great. You get more political power. You get weekly stability? Heck, god dang it. The Democrats join the Republicans. We're the growing popularity of our economic policies among reformers. The Democrats have fallen to the Republicans to prove their chances in the first pass the post system. Good. Now, it's like TNO. The Republicans and Democrats form the same party. Many prominent Hollywood actors and producers support the Republican cause. We should enlist them in creating films that promote Republican values to the rest of the country. Oh, no longer get pushed against the long. It kind of sucks, but whatever. I don't really care. Doesn't matter. I think they'll fold for too long anyway, so... I'll get some more resource extraction game. Great, great, great. And we'll go integrated support. Very good. Oh, we've taken... We're almost at Houston. We're literally almost in Houston. This sucks for long. Hey, we're breaking into Iowa now. We're breaking into Missouri. We're breaking into, hopefully soon, Louisiana and Arkansas. Right there. Arkansas. Right there. So they don't need that. We're going to wait to do stuff there. Small ship manufacturers. Cruiser. Uh, that stuff is okay. Medium tanks. Uh, that stuff is okay. Uh, I guess armor research time. We should really focus on more stuff. I actually, you know what? Let's wait. I want to wait. This just uh, doesn't interest me too much. Let's wait until we reunite the country to get this stuff. But Rotary Club. A philanthropy club for business, man. The Rotary Club desires to bring business leaders together so they may uh, collaborate for humanitarian projects such as aid the poor for world peace. With a campaign increased charity, the Rotary Club has seen a large boost in membership, increasing charitable con contributions to education. While opponents of the government are critical of attempts to make it easier for business elites to form closer connections to one another, the positive externalities from the Rotary Club's existence cannot be denied. There always seems there are always men willing to do good, and there's always men willing to do evil. Good and evil. Any other? Oh yes, please, yes sir. And we, uh, we're going to really convert this guy to a Panzer leader. But we're always going to be using this anyway, so we might as well get more defense for our 
guys anyways i i usually don't choose that side but whatever hey we've broken into uh missouri and i it's already restored look at that broken in minnesota too hollywood support thank you very much council lindley's what the heck we need more support equipment. that's it wow that is this is so weird we're doing so well this is ridiculous all right so here on out let's go let's see you guys psa infantry i just don't know if this is going to be duplicated or not so we'll make these guys 40s cool and we have enough army xp to do this so this is ridiculously easy compared to my previous attempts playing as a as a different american su successor state like i don't understand why this is so easy i mean i guess it makes sense we only have one front to focus on at all times and for the other nations it's so much more difficult for, because of that but there you go um you guys half you guys become 40s i mean jesus christ not bad <laughs> base strike get ready for the navy stuff too two-party system formalizes in order to oppose their increasing absorption of the democrats the progressives and democratic republican party have agreed to a party merge then increasingly taking over on former independent uh, supporters that lean towards the commonwealth party in response the national democrats and supporters are backing us in increasing elections leaving the national democrats irrelevant and returning the two-party system as a dominant one for better for worse very well oh well i don't care we're gonna win no matter what keep on going guys long is almost dead he's on his deathbed right now well this nation is and gets more from Nolan, Texas. Now, let's give our guys a little bit of time to plan. Planning is always smart to do, especially when you gotta kill off your enemies like this. That's totally fine. I want to end this episode killing off the American Union state. Because then we're gonna focus on the car. But especially the CSA. The CSA is a big old pain in the big old tuchus. I don't think we'll be able to win that well, but we'll see what happens, especially with our 40 combo hits. I mean, look at that. That's so good. Actually, for you guys, let's uh, increase it by one. If that's the case, you know what? Except for you, and then you, and then you, all become 40s. It's fine. Give him about five seconds before we launch another invasion. Oh, look at that. Yes, now we need more equipment. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Actually, it says we won't be able to do well here. They're probably right, but maybe not. Hollywood support, nice. And we'll grab local budgeting. We get even more weekly stability. Decentralization of the economy makes up much of the backbone of our beliefs, and so should go with the national budget. With local governments being given greater flexibility to set budgets and being recognized by our political leaders for saving money where they can, and get even more weekly stability. That is... Jesus Christ. Get some more cast, please. Break in Louisiana. We already we're getting close to Little Rock, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Up next, yeah, we're gonna wait for our stuff. Save her PP. There you go. Come on. Because this is gonna be definitely a little bit of a struggle against uh, these guys up here. Actually, since we're here anyways, push on the Cineclus front. You might as well. That'll definitely help us out here. Hey, we broke in Louisiana. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Good. Keep putting a lot of pressure on them. I want to capitulate them by the end of the episode. We're already... Oh, they took Minneapolis away from us. You piece of garbage. Just capitulate long. Iowa? Yes, please. Cancel and lease. All right, so be... Or at least, if we can't capitulate long, at least, hopefully, we can go ahead and... Uh... Oh, we got long! I was going to go ahead and say do another focus, but okay. Um, technically, we did take all this, almost all the territory, but we're going to take it anyways, because we can. Alright, not too shabby. Um, yeah. That's actually really, really strong. But let's finish off with reading one more here. Social Gospel. Let's go for support small businesses. Yeah, let's do soften regulations. The last thing we need to do in the aftermath of this civil war is unnecessary. Burdensome regulations on businesses. We should cut back red tape and ensure that companies are able to succeed in these trying times. But if you enjoyed this video, this pretty darn successful video so far leave a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below and i'll see you tomorrow when we will capitulate hopefully the rest of the fake false evil successor states to the so-called us of a thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day